morning. It's January the 20th, and these are our Yukon Gold seed potatoes that we grew last year. And I store my seed potatoes in the coldest room in the house, and I put them in milk crates. And uh, they're starting to sprout out and come outside the milk crates, and I've moved them around a couple of times and snapped some of these uh, sprouts off. So I'm going to, these longest sprouts on these potatoes, I'm going to, if I can, break them off. And if I'm able to break them off, then I'll st stick them in a jar of water. If I have to cut them off, like I have these right here, you can see where they've been cut. I'll let the I'll lay these out on a tray and let them heal over a day or two where I've cut them because if you stick these right in water if you cut these off and you stick them right in a jar of water to root and they will root I've rooted them in in a week and they start getting roots the baby dutch rooted faster than the Yukon golds but in 2 weeks you'll have roots on these things and you can plant them so if you cut them, if you cut them off like I did, and I only cut them because it was a nice cluster of sprouts coming off, like this guy right here. If I go to break this off and it's going to snap off all of these other sprouts, I won't do that. I'll just simply cut it off. I'll lay them on a tray for a day or two to heal over. Like if you're going to plant a seed potato and you're going to cut it in half, you don't want to plant that seed potato fresh. You want to give it three or four days to dry over, crust over. So that's what I'm going to do with the sprouts. But uh, I'll take these. Let's see if we can get a... And if I can get it to break off there, just like that. Be easy with it. Without breaking off the other eyes. You can see how... I don't know if it's going to focus. See how that broke right off of there. So what I'll do then is I'll just take this thing that I broke off, this sprout, Yukon Gold uh, seed potato sprout, stick it right in a jar of water. And within two weeks, I'll have roots coming off of this thing. I have a video in my playlist that I did maybe two weeks ago of my baby duchess that we did that away. And they rooted and they, I planted them. And now these are the baby duchess that I planted in just a potting mix. And I put a play sand over the top. And you can see the top of these sprouts, how they're getting leaves coming out on them. So this is making a, potato plant and then I can just uh, probably here depending on the weather around the first week in March I'll just go ahead and take these outside and plant these but you can see how it's forming a nice cluster of leaves now after after I break these off and put them in the water <clears throat> I'll stick them under my grow lights you can already see on this that the leaves are starting to form, where they're trying to sprout out. And I could try to plant these things just like that, but I've done that in the past, and I've ended up breaking these things off. So if you have to, if you have to cut them off, just lay them out on a tray, give them a day or two to heal over, we'll try to do another one. Now you see this one? It's got, I think, two more sprouts there, so we'll gently... Try to break this off from the potato without breaking those other sprouts there. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard, and I've had to just cut them off. Okay, so that left me some sprouts, and I'll just plant this whole seed potato. And then we'll take this thing, now that I've broke it off, and it's not a major wound there where the water can get in there and start rotting this thing. 
we'll just stick it in a jar of water. And within a couple of weeks, this thing should start rooting. And if, and if you put them in there and they start rotting on the end, what I've done is change the water every day. That's exactly what these guys did that I had to cut off. These are Yukon Golds that I cut off and stuck in water immediately. And they started, the, the bottoms of the sprouts started to get soft and mushy. And the you can tell that when the water in the jar gets cloudy. But I just changed the water uh, every day. And they eventually rooted. And I planted these guys. And if you'll see here, these were planted on the 16th. These are Yukon Golds. Planted on the 16th after I put them in water for two weeks. And now you can see the you can see the potato plant forming, the leaves coming out on this thing. But they are under lights. These seed potatoes here were in a dark, cold room. They've sprouted out. And now what I'm going to do is if I can get these long sprouts off and get them back down to this, I'm going to go ahead and stick these potatoes underneath my grow lights. And what that'll do is where you see this white on the sprout because it's not getting any light, once I put it under the grow lights, it will start turning purple, just like the bottom of these guys. It'll start turning this color. My, my baby Dutch ones that we did like that went from a white color like this to a real deep dark purple, and now they're starting to form leaves coming out the top. So I'm hoping within the next, what is it, the third week in January, so probably six, six to eight weeks I can get them outside. So we'll do it again. You take this thing right here, you be gentle with it so you don't snap off all of that and and this one, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that. We'll try it without breaking off the sprouts because I don't want to break those other sprouts off of there. And you can see if it's going to focus. You just work it back and forth, twist it. Pull it off of there. Let's see if we can get this one. I'm trying to do it behind the camera. Twist it, snap it right off, and see that left the sprout. Still coming out of the seed potato. And since th we were able to break these off, we'll just stick them in our jar of water. We'll do it one more time. Here's a nice one. You can see how long that thing is. And if I try to plant it, I can't, I've planted them before and had good luck, and then I broke them off before too. So just easily... Take that thing, twist it back and forth so you don't break the other sprout off. And then I'll twist it around. And I'll pop it right. It comes right off of there like that. And then I'll take this and stick it in a jar of water. And these will go underneath the light. These, once I'm done here, I'm not going to do them all, but just so you get the gist of it. And if you're very careful and you're very easy with these guys, like... This right here, where I've got it growing out of both ends, I may just leave the shortest one there, and we'll try to, that one came right off, easy, be very easy, twist it around. And you can feel when it's starting to come give away from the from the potato. There it is. And we'll put that in the water. But I say again, if you have to, let me cut one. If we have to, here's a good one to cut. If we have to take and cut this thing, what I do is I get as close as I can. Well, it just broke right off. So... That one we know we can go right into the water with it. Let me get one here and I'll cut it for you. You know what I'm talking about. Let's get a 
we'll just cut this one. So like that right there, I'll take and hold the sprout. I'll get it as, as close to the bottom as I can. And I'll just cut that off. And I'll let this heal over. I won't stick this in the water. I'll give it a day or two laying out on the tray. And then I'll put it in the water. And these will probably do like the other ones and start getting soft on the bottom because they're not, because I had to cut it. So uh, we'll lay that one out on the tray. And if you have one where you can just, let's see, here's maybe another good one. I think I'm going to end up pulling that all, the whole thing. And I don't want to do that. So let me see if I can twist it. Just be easy with it. And it'll snap right off. And you leave your eyes still on the potatoes. So if you do that, you're very gentle with them. These things will root. I change the water. When it starts turning cloudy, you'll see that clear water go cloudy. I'll change the water out. Once it roots, get you some potting mix. Plant your uh, sprout in some potting mix. I use potting mix because I've got bales of it in the other room that I bought last year. So we use pro mix, potting mix, and then I cover the top with the play sand so that we don't have a fungus gnat issue. This is place saying that you get at the hardware store, Lowe's or Menards. You can get a 50-pound bag for five bucks. Same thing you put in your kid's sandbox. And if you'll cover the top of your soil, and then you want to water from the bottom. I put the, I set all of these in reservoirs, containers that I can just water, and the, the uh, water will wick up in this potting potting mix. And there you go. You can see... This is going to turn into a, a Yukon Gold potato plant. So there you go. If you have your seed potatoes and they're sprouting out and you don't know what to do with them, try this. You know, if it works, which I'm, I've already seen the results of it. I did this last year and it worked. And uh, I'm doing it again this year. Because my seed potatoes weren't in a cold enough environment that they didn't sprout out almost a foot long. Just a little tip to save your seed potato sprouts. And uh, maybe you can plant these and get you some extra potatoes off of them. If you like the content on the channel, please uh, give me a thumbs up and... Uh, for the like button and share and, and, uh, the video and subscribe to the channel. And we'll keep you posted with videos as these things grow. And uh, we'll also do a harvest video on these and show you what it turns out to be. Thanks for watching. God bless.